hey, there you are. Hey, uh, come on down. We're gonna go catch bugs today, insects, with just an umbrella and a stick. We are in one of my favorite fields today. Welcome to Moth and Beetle. Uh, and I wanna show you how to use a beading sheet to collect insects. One of the things we're gonna do today is show you how to catch, well, and observe, uh, take pictures of insects, bugs, beetles, all sorts of uh, different insects and things, spiders, with a uh, simple, simple, simple tool. First thing we're gonna use is an umbrella, and then we're gonna use a stick. Now, this is normally called a beading sheet or a, uh, a beading uh, um, umbrella. And the idea is that you hold the umbrella underneath the foliage like this, and then beat that with a stick. So we're gonna show you that up close and show you what that looks like. And hopefully catch and see some really cool bugs and insects. Okay, one thing we gotta do is find the right stick to uh, beat on the foliage for the umbrella. So you guys are gonna help me look for one of those. We don't want something too heavy duty. Uh, but that will knock the branches down. Um, and, uh, oh, this might be a good one right here. Yeah, that might do it. And as you can see, if this one doesn't do it, there's plenty more right there on the, on the forest floor. We can find it. So you can use this method uh, wherever you live. Uh, if you live anywhere it's possible to do this and it's mainly used on trees or shrubs uh not so much grasses and things like that because that it doesn't really work that well and if you're out and about in the woods just be careful uh there's a lot of snakes where i live so i'm always careful to um try and not step on a snake but trust me you don't want to get snake bit let's try this one things they're really small so let's take a picture and see okay we got spiders spiders where'd he go it's a jumping spider you oh he's running away this guy keeps moving. And this is about as steady as I can get. I'm a couple, maybe an inch away from him. Jumping spiders are like smart too. They, uh, you get really close so you can take the picture and they jump up on the lens. One, it kind of freaks you out. I can tell you, when I'm out in these meadows and I'm walking along, I find myself walking on a lot of uh, uh, deer trails. And what that means is ticks. So I wear long pants. I do spray everything with DEET. Um, just to, that's some advice for me. You don't want to get Lyme disease. You don't want to get tick bites. Not fun. So wear bug spray and wear long pants. I'm going to show you, that's, I just did one of those trees. And you can see all the little, the ants everywhere. Uh, I had to get a new stick. We have the umbrella. Put the umbrella underneath. Now, this is a blue. It's the ideal color to use. Could not find mine at home. So I got my trusty backup umbrella, which just works okay as well. Place it under, get some chaps. So one thing I will tell you about these guys, lacewing bugs, um, hopefully you can see it in some of the pictures, but on the front by their head, they have a ridge that uh, kind of looks like an exposed large brain. Hope you can see it. So clear it off. We'll try this up here. Oh, 
we got some little weevils. I'm gonna give you guys a close-up of this, but there's some little weevils in here that are maybe, uh, I don't know, four or five millimeters large, uh, long. So hang on a second. Okay, how cool is nature? We're getting ready. To, this is a, a pond area where I'd shown you tadpoles before, and I figured it might be moist underneath some logs. And check out what we found underneath one of the logs. Look at that cute toad. Look at that. That's awesome. That guy is trying to stay moist, so we're going to carefully set the log just like we found it for a little and then put it on the umbrella and you know when you keep your eyes open and look on the ground too as you're looking for things uh, to take pictures go collect bugs just explore be aware look around so Grassy, rocky areas are all good, but when there's a change in the habitat, so it's all grassy, but then this is all open kind of rock, uh, just things change. And so this is a large millipede that is, has died. Um, we have those down here. You can see He's sun bleached, not normally that color, he's a lot darker, much, much darker. So I'm finding a lot of uh, dead beetles, scarab beetles. I don't know what kind these are, but there's two of them. One is, is over here, uh, upside down and dead. Let's see. Uh, just a black scarab beetle. And then this one... I thought might still be alive, but it's, he's dead too. So again, hope you've enjoyed it. Remember all you need to go and collect insects, see insects, repeat insects is an umbrella and a stick. Do it.